Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Eliso. Good morning. Hello, Miss. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah. You are you? sitting down on the floor? Sí. <laughs> Está más cerca del, del enchufe. Good morning. Good morning, Leonor. Good morning. Welcome. First one, can you repeat that? Nilsson, you didn't connect your phone at night. You didn't charge the phone. Yes, Miss Aileen, I forget the I'll be there. Good Okay. Okay. How are you, Leonor? Fine. I am fine. And you? Great. I'm fine. Hello, teacher. A little sleepy. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Jonathan Alexander. Good morning. Welcome. Okay, we want to come in. Hmm. Okay. Let's give a moment to our classmates to come. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Hello, hello. Welcome to another class. Welcome, everybody. How are Good you morning. today? Good morning. How's everything? Vacations. Almost we we almost have vacations, guys. <laughs> My group, I mean you are my group, but since the beginning, since January, uh, we didn't stop, right? We didn't stop since January 4th. So they, they are going to have vacation, guys, you know? Noah, Alba, Esmeralda, Irwin. They are going to have vacation because the, in the last module, we finished module number one. And the next day we started model number two, intro B. It was like, teacher, we need some days. <laughs> but no, no, we, we continued. And I was telling Leonor the other day, I think, that every every model lasts like, like a month and a half, kind of, a month and a half. So. It's been a long time, right, Noah? It's been a long time. <laughs> this vacation will be good for you. <laughs> at least the class is in the morning. When the class is at night, it's, it's terrible. Hoy no voy a ir a hacer esta hora, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> You would be like, mm, what should I do now? What should I do now? I don't know. <laughs> maybe you can check. Maybe you can check the topics. Yes. Repeat the activities in 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 Google Classroom because not Google Classroom. Oy. you can repeat the activities mm -hmm. in Cambridge. Cambridge. Yes. yes, you can repeat. You can do it again. You can review the topic. You can play the games. <laughs> oh, and this is for everybody. Cambridge is for you, not only for the moment of classes, but if you want to check it again, you can do it. If you want to complete activities from unit one, you can do it. 
no problem. You have this license for, I think it's for a year. You can use the workbook mm -hmm. for one year. So it's yours. For the moment, it's yours. Take <laughs> advantage of the resource. It's good. Really, really good. So now that I mentioned Cambridge, <laughs> please complete the activities. Today is the last day. Today is the last day to complete the activities in Cambridge. Remember that the, the grade or the score to pass to level three is seven. Seven is the score. So I need you to complete Cambridge. Please. Cambridge activities. Um, they are the 20% of the final score. 20%, two points. Okay, in Cambridge. So, please complete activities. Okay, guys, welcome to another class. Good morning, everybody who just joined the class. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. Today, uh, we are going to finish this module number two. So, we have to complete some activities, right? We need to complete, to complete some activities in the book. So, welcome back, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Let's see. Tell me, guys, what's this? Do you know what's the name? Price. French fries. Fries. French, French fries. fries. That's right. These are French fries. These are French fries. These are French fries. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> How about this? Cake. Piece a of cake. cake. A, a piece, piece of, of cake. cake. Correct. Are these are piece of cake. Piece of piece, piece of, of cake. cake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> when you say that something is easy, when you want to say that like, something is easy, you can say, oh, that's a piece of cake. English, nah. English is a piece <laughs> of cake. <laughs> <laughs> so you can say piece of cake if you consider that something is easy. Mm -hmm. You can use it like that. How about this? Bananas. Yeah, bananas. 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 That's right, bananas. Do you remember the question we studied yesterday? How much or how many for bananas? How many? How many? How many, how many bananas? Okay. How many bananas, correct? No. Because bananas are countable nouns. It's a countable noun. Next one. What is that? Tomato. Tomato. Tomato, Tomato. correct. Tomato. <coughs> the next one. Hamburger. 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 That's right. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Says the, the man. I don't remember the movie. When he is in Italy. And Julia hamburguesas. Julia hamburguesas. <laughs> Casi todos los días <laughs> la veo, <laughs> tiche. <laughs> Ay, Dios. It's a beautiful movie. They love the movie. Hoy la tiene que poner en inglés, Ada. Para yeah. Que, como yeah. Ella yeah. Sabe, yeah. Va a ser mucho más fácil. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, you, you already no know the script. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you you sí. know the script. So, yeah, you a, mi, a mi niño pequeño le encanta, pero la doy. <laughs> <laughs> I know the kids, right? The kids. <laughs> uh, the next one, we I think, yeah, I have another. What's this? Watermelon. 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 Yeah. That's right. The watermelon. Do you like watermelon? Yes. Yes. I like it a lot. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Choco watermelons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Frozen. I really love that. Yes. But choco bananas, no. No, it's mm -hmm. more better than choco bananas. No, I don't like choco bananas. <laughs> or choco fresas. So, because I, 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 like, I like so much the, the bananas. Oh. <laughs> and that's why I don't, I don't, I don't like. I don't like them. <laughs> but if you like them, it's okay, it's okay. 
Okay, choco fresas, what is that? I never tried to. Yes, it's very yes. It's with chocolate, it's delicious. Mm. Oh, okay. In pinchos. In pinchos yeah, in pinchos. I've eaten. I've eaten. Mm -hmm. But the strawberries they use are, are not sweet. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm delicious. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like I like strawberries. I like strawberries. All right. So yesterday we talked about how much and how many, right? So <clears throat> we use how many with countable nouns. That's what we did yesterday. So look at these examples we have right here. Mm -hmm. Jonathan, can you read the examples, please? How many plus countable nouns? How many apples are are there in the fridge? Fridge. How many fridge? How many cup, cups? Cups. Cups. Is, is right. Yeah. Are there in the basket? Correct. What is what is basket? A basket is like a container. If you go picnic. Then you have a basket. The basket where you put the food. Es decir, una canasta. Yeah, that's right. Ah, algo para portar. Exactly. This doesn't look like a basket, but something like this. <laughs> the picture is beautiful. <laughs> Thanks for your help. It was <laughs> so yeah. That imagine you go on a picnic, then you put the food in a basket. <laughs> All right, and fridge, fridge is like a contraction for refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Fridge is like refrigerator. All right, so we have how many and countable nouns, right? How many apples? Countable. How many cups? These are the cups, right? Over here. These are the plastic ones because the glasses, the glasses are the other one. You have to be careful with the glasses because they can be broken. So how many cups? I mm. told you. We are going to use how many, not only with food, but also with objects. If you talk about cell phones, if it is how much or how many with cell phones? How many, how much? How many? Many cell phones. How many cell phones? How many? And when we use how many, after how many, we use plural nouns. We use the plural form, how many apples, how many cups. Let's see more examples. Um, you can also say how many pens. I remember yesterday Alma showed us she has a lot of pens. <laughs> or awesome. you can say how many strawberries, now that we talk about strawberries. So that, that question, in that question, you have the, the noun, the countable noun in the plural form. How many pens? How many strawberries? We're going to use the plural, the plural form of the noun. Or another example, how many cars? How many students do you have in the class? So, when I when I tell my my coworkers, hey, yeah, I have a group in the morning. How many students do you have? Is the first question they ask me. How many students mm -hmm. do you have? Oh well, I have a lot of students. This is my answer, right? Because I have many. So many, and then the plural form of the noun. That's why we need a countable noun because we're going to use the plural. All right, so in these examples, we have not only food, but also different nouns, right? Pens, cars, students, televisions, if you want to say televisions, but children. How many children <coughs> mm -hmm. do you have? How many have? children do you have? Exactly. How many children mm -hmm. do you have? 
I have four children. Oh, okay. <laughs> <My> case. <laughs> four children, many. <laughs> you have many children. <laughs> I like, I like babies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you like babies, okay? My mom had four children too. My oh, mom had four children, yeah. And my grandmother, <laughs> my grandmother had ten children. My God! <laughs> oh my God. Oh. <laughs> when we have the family reunions, no. Asertai. Asertai. Uh huh. Asertai. Um, these are. Ay, como digo, eso era normal. Oh, that was yeah. normal. That oh. Was, uh -huh. I, that was, I think. Yeah, it was, it was normal mm -hmm. that five children, six, seven, yeah. <laughs> normal. <laughs> but now, when are you going to have your first baby is the question. <laughs> okay, so that is about how much, right? Now we have, sorry, that was about how many, how many uncountable nouns. How much in uncountable nouns? Help me please, um, Esmeralda, to read the examples. How much rice is there? How much milk is there? Thank you very much. How much rice? You see, it's an uncountable noun. Over here. How much milk? Milk is an uncountable noun. So we are using how much. And if you see this, if you see this form, there is, there are, we studied the reason there are some days ago. But if you use is there in these questions, then when you use how much, and the uncountable noun, then you use is there. How much rice is there? How do you answer these questions? Do you remember? How do you answer these questions? Mm. Teacher. Yes? Yeah? <laughs> There are three cups of rice. Three cups of rice. Okay. A lot of rice. There are three cups of rice. Uh, A lot of rice. Okay. In that case, we're going to say there is a lot of rice. Yeah. Very good. So we can look in the first example that we have, we have a countable noun, three cups. So I can say there are, there are three cups, three cups of rice. I can say there are because it's countable. But in the second example, I have a lot of, a lot of rice. In this case, I'm going to use there is, there is a lot of rice because I am, I'm still talking about an uncountable noun. Mm -hmm. Great, great, great. So yesterday we talked about the answer too. We talk about many, we talk about much, and we talk about a lot of in the answer. When we want to focus on the quantity. So that's what I have over here. What is this guy over here? What do you see here? Sugar. Sugar, sugar that's right. Sugar. And what, how about this item? How do you call this item? Spoon. 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 One spoon. Very good. One spoon mm. and, a, and a sugar. Let's see some examples. And the sugar is uncountable, right? It's an uncountable noun. So if I want to talk about a small quantity of sugar, I'm going to say a little. If I talk about a small quantity of sugar, so look at my example. Can you help me, Alma, to read this example? Okay. A little 
a small quantity, there is a little sugar in the spoon. The spoon, yep. Spoon. <laughs> a little sugar in the spoon here. I focus on here, focusing the spoon, right? There's a little sugar, small quantity. Okay, <clears throat> but what happens if I talk about big quantities? Mm -hmm. If I talk about big quantities, then I say a lot of. For example, Araceli, can you help me with this example? Perdón, teacher. The example, please. Read. Read the example. Um, a lot mm -hmm. of the quantities. quantities. There is a lot of sugar under the spot correct okay there is thank you there is a lot of sugar under the spoon here right under the spoon you can see a lot of sugar but mm -hmm. in the spoon there is a little sugar so we can use it we can use a little and a lot of like this a little is for the small quantities and a lot of is for big quantities and you are going to use a little with uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns. You want to say, for example, hay un poquito, un poquito de leche. Then you can <laughs> say a little, there's a little milk. A little milk. Yeah, there is a little milk. Or in the negative form, you, you use not much. There isn't much milk. There isn't much milk. All right. Carrots. Carrots are countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. That means right? Countable. If I talk about small quantities and a countable now, I'm going to use a few. A few. Okay, for small quantities. For example, um, can you read this example, Irwin? Um, a few small quantity, if there are a few carrots. Exactly. Hey, baje la cámara, Irwin. No lo there vemos. Are, there are a few Se carrots. Se me calienta la compu. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you, Irwin. There are a few carrots, that's right. A small quantity. But then we have big quantities and in that case we use a lot of again. So I can use a lot of with countable and uncountable. Yeah, how cool. Mm -hmm. You can use it with both. A lot of for countable and uncountable. Ada, can you help me with the example here? Um, a lot of a uh, big quantity. Uh, there are a lot of carrots. Correct. There are a lot of carrots and a few carrots. Big quantities, small quantities, right? Do you understand this? A few, a little, and a lot of? <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. <laughs> I am using there is and there are, but of course you can say I need, I want, I got, I want to buy, you can use other verbs, not necessarily there is or there are. Oh, maybe I can say, I want to have a picnic. I want to have a picnic with my kids. But I have a few carrots, carrots and I need many carrots for my salad, salad, right? So you are, so you are going to use any verb that any verb is possible. I have a few carrots. I need many carrots. The most important is to use the correct form. The most important is to recognize the difference between countable and uncountable nouns 
and then to recognize the difference between a few, a little, right? A few is for countable nouns and a little is for uncountable nouns. If I ask you, Noah, what are you drinking, Noah? Uh, I drink water. How much water do you have? A little. Just a little? Ah, okay. A little. How about coffee? Mm, yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> No more. <laughs> no more. There's no coffee. No more. <laughs> no more coffee. No more coffee. Okay, okay. Great. <laughs> okay, so you see, I'm asking you about quantities. She's drinking coffee. Hey, the kids, right? This is a very common question. How much co how much water do you have? I want some water. How much food do you have? I want some food. They ask questions. They, you, you, now you can you can tell them in English. There's a little. There's a, there are a few. Or a lot of you. You can say that to your kids. Okay. So if you understand the difference, let's practice. Okay. Look at this picture. A little, a few, or a lot. Let's practice. I have over here. This one right here is honey. Bubble tea is this thing over here. I, I think, in my opinion, it's bubble tea. I don't know what it is. I think it's bubble sure. tea. <laughs> uh, we have milk. Look at this. We have some milk right here. I imagine it's juice, this purple one and the green one, maybe. I don't know. You can invent, no problem. Let's work in groups and practice. Let's work in, in groups and practice. Say Say what you see in the fridge. Say what you see in the refrigerator. And try to use a few, a little, and a lot. Let's try to use it. So can somebody help me with a screenshot in the group? Take a screenshot, please, and send it in the group. One person, please. Please, please, please. <clears throat> Okay, thank you. Now we have the screenshot in the group. Let's go. And right now just talk, okay? You don't have to write anything. Mm -mm. Just talk about what you see in the picture. Okay, just a few minutes, like five minutes maybe. Go, go, go and practice. What do you see in the photo? A little, a few, and a lot of. Let's practice.
Good morning. We are working in groups, Giselle. Hola. Hello. Hello. Hi, Mariana. How are you? Very good. I'm work. You are at work? I'm working. <laughs> oh, I'm working on your project. Okay. Uh, ahorita puedo participar. No han venido las personas con las que voy a trabajar. Okay. ¿En qué están? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Right now we are working in a, in um in groups. They are yeah. talking they are talking about a picture in the group. Did you see the picture? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Let's go in let's go to practice. Yeah. yeah, go, go, go. I, I think that there, there are a few. A lot eggs. Yeah, yeah. there are a lot of eggs. A lot of eggs. Ah. Sí, sí. No, no sé, mejor pongamos el de... Uh, what? Uh, uh, you have, do you have questions? Eh, que si es salchicha o chorizo lo que está en la par de pescado <risa> estamos adivinando con papas también aquí pero no sabemos eso eh, Ajá, que están atrás de la zanahoria yo le digo que ya cuando ya están lavadas quizá las papas no, you can say yeah, it's ok, you can say potato and then that Okay, potato. The, the yeah. other one you can say sausages. Sausages. I'm gonna write it here in the chat. Okay. Okay, it's not a problem. Sausages. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. There's just one sausage. I just fight. I just fight. Sausage. Yeah. Sausage. Yeah. How you say salchicha in English? Sausages. Oh, uh, sausages. Sausages. Let me write it here in the chat. Salchiches. Sausages. Sausages. Okay. Sausages. 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 Sausages, dice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many how many carrots do you see here? Mm. There are a few carrots. Right. There are three. The carrots. How about cake? How much cake? A little. There are, there is. There is. Yeah. There's a little. There is a little. Yeah. There's a little. Yeah, how much fish do you see? What do you think? A little. A no. little? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just a little. That's right. There, yeah. there are or there is? Few. There is. There is. There, there is a little fish. Yeah. It's more two, we use there are, it's only one there is. Uh, it, do, it doesn't matter if you see two fish. The thing is that fish is an uncountable noun when you talk about food. It's uncountable. 
But fish, when you talk about the animal swimming in the river or in the ocean, then it's comfortable. Mm. In that case, and the turkey? And the turkey is uncomfortable. Sorry? The turkey is uncomfortable because it's full. Exactly. Turkey is uncomfortable, like here in the, in the picture. You talk about the food. So in this case, how, what, what do you say about the turkey? Uh, there, there is a, a lot of turkey. Correct. Correct. There are or there is? There is. There, there is. is a lot of. There is a lot of. There is a lot of turkey. Mm -hmm. Because there are, we use a uh, when, when more two things, three, four, five. There are. Yeah, when you when you see the turkey running. Uh -huh. In the garden, yeah. When the turkey is attack. <laughs> when they attack you, yeah. <laughs> and when... uh, uh, attack turkey. <laughs> <laughs> the turkeys attack. Yeah. <laughs> when they are alive, then you can say one, two, three. Oh, I have two turkeys at home. I have five turkeys at home. But when they are like this, already cooked, then you say there is a lot of turkey. Do you want some? <laughs> So when you use a lot of, you can say there is a lot of or there are a lot of. It's possible with a lot of. You can use there is or there are. Because a lot of is used with countable or uncountable nouns. In the case of in the cases in milk, uh, we can say there are a lot of milk. Uh, milk is uncountable. Is. So there is. Uh -huh. There is a lot of milk. In, in the case of of eggs, uh, is a lot. There is there are a lot of eggs. Yeah. There are a lot of eggs because eggs is a countable noun. So the reason there are depends on the noun. It depends on the noun, there is or there aren't. If the noun is countable, there are. If the noun is uncountable, there is. We can say there is a lot of eggs. There's a lot of? There is a lot of eggs is incorrect. Uh, incorrect, uh -huh. incorrect, yeah. There is a lot of eggs, no. There are. Uh, a lot of, it's a lot of um, we can use two. If you don't, if, sorry, what is it? A lot of, we can use uh, there is or there are in uncountable or countable. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. it's possible. Okay. It's possible with a lot of. Then if you don't use a lot of, you can use many or much. And in that case, yeah, there is a difference because you can much. say there are many, there is much. There are many, there is much. There are many, there are because it's countable. Exactly. There is, it's because it's uncountable. Exactly. There are, there are any much. There is much. No, sorry, there is much. There is much, yeah. Faltó una coca en esa refri. In this fridge, yes, there is no, there is no soda here. Just bubble tea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go to the principal group.
Nicole, Nicole, what do you see on the fridge? Um, a little? No. Yeah, you. Okay. Any examples? Um, a little of fish. A little fish, okay. Um, a little cake. Okay. Okay. Very good. <laughs> um, a little. Honey? 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 Um, a little salchichas? No, they're not salchichas. Sausages. 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 Okay. A little milk? A little milk, okay. Very good. And, uh, a little wheat? Juice. juice. A little juice. A little juice. Mm -hmm. And a little bubble, bubble tea. Bubbles. Yeah. Bubbles. Bubble tea. Yes, that's right. Correct. Very good. What else, Denise? You've seen a few. What examples can you give us, Denise, using a few? Uh, how much, uh, pardon, how long of use? A lot of use, okay. Uh, a little bananas. Bananas, a little or a few? A few. Exactly. A few bananas because it's countable, yep. Uh, a few apples. Correct. And carrot. Uh, only that. How about the carrots? How? What? What can you say about the carrots, guys? A few, a little, or a lot of carrots. The carrots is a few. Uh, a few carrots. A few carrots. A few carrots. Eggs. <coughs> a lot of eggs. <laughs> a lot of eggs. That's right. A lot of eggs. How about the turkey or chicken? Turkey or chicken? We don't, we're not sure. The chicken is a little. A lot of. A lot of. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of chicken. <laughs> A lot of chicken. It's a big one. <laughs> a lot of chicken or a lot of turkey. Yes. Okay, so that is what we have in this page, right? We have different kinds of food. And if I ask you, yesterday, yesterday my, my mom, for example, she told me, I today we have a few things in the refrigerator because we almost finished the month a few things in the refrigerator. She's right. We just have a few, a few fruits. We just have a few vegetables, a few beans. Well, a little, little in that case, a little, little beans. So yeah, she was talking about the fridge yesterday, what we have. It's important to know this vocabulary about food, a few, a little, and a lot, because it's something that we normally use in a conversation, right? Ah, yeah. What are we going to cook today? What are we going to cook for dinner? What are we going to cook for lunch? And then let me see what I have in the refrigerator. You check what you have in the fridge, or you check what you have in the counter. So it's vocabulary we normally use. Now that we have talked about this, let me show you. <clears throat> Let me show you what we have here in the book. Vocabulary about food. Look, we have this vocabulary about food. Building vocabulary. Let's listen to this, okay? Let's listen to this vocabulary right now.
page 120. Lesson B. What's for dinner? 1. Building vocabulary. A. Listen and say the words. Which foods do you like? Which don't you like? Spinach. Lettuce. Tomatoes. Onions. Garlic. Peppers. Green beans. Coffee. Sugar. Tea. Oil. Butter. Cereal. Peanuts. Potato chips. Mangoes. Melon. Pineapple. Apples. Strawberries. Ice cream. Cookies. Salmon. Lamb. Hamburger meat. Shrimp. Please, one, pers one person share the picture in the WhatsApp group, please, please, so you have this vocabulary. Okay, so in this section, look at what we have in this section. What is the first one? Do you remember the pronunciation? Let's practice pronunciation. Spinach? Spinach. Spinach, that's right. Spinach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spinach. <laughs> one is? Lettuce. 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 Yeah. Lettuce. Lettuce. Tomatoes. 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 The next one. Onion. 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 Garlic. 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 Peppers. Peppers. Green beans. Green beans. Green beans. Green beans. Green beans. Oils. Oil. 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 Butter. Butter. Oil and butter. Okay. Butter. Coffee. Coffee. Sugar. 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 Tea. In this part, we can include soda. We can include hot chocolate. We hot can chocolate. Milk. Juice. 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 Sorry. Juice. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Different kinds of drinks. Beers. You can include milk. Right. Yogurt. Milk. Yogurt. 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 Right. Look at the other one. What do we have? What's this? Cereal. Cereal. Very good. Next. Peanuts. 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 The next one. Potato chips. Potato chips. Potato chips. Very good. Next. Cookies. 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 After that, we have ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. The children love ice cream. Oh, Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Are you <laughs> Mango. 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 I love Mango. baby ones. Mangoes? <laughs> the mangoes, yeah. Mango. Mechudos, no. But the other. No. <laughs> <laughs> the next one. Se quedan Melo. Melo. This one Mello. over here. Then apple. Apples. Then strawberries. Uh, strawberries. 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 The other word is. Pineapple, right? Pineapple. 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 Here we have mm. some salmon. Uh, salmon. Salmon. In this case, we don't pronounce the L. Don't pronounce salmon. 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 Yeah. 
Okay, oh, no. Recordemos cuando pidamos, no mencionemos la, no, la, no. la L. Salmon. <laughs> Salmon. After Salmon. that, we have the? Lamb. 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 This one is? Shrimp. Dream. Shrimp. Dream. This is difficult for me. Shrimp. Shrimp. Yeah. Shrimp. 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 Hamburger meat. Hamburger meat. Hamburger meat. In the meat. supermarket, they sell the hamburger meat, right? Already prepared. Mm -hmm. Just have to fry it a little bit. Okay, so this is more vocabulary about food, right? We have different categories. We have meat, we have mm -hmm. seafood. Vegetables, fruit, dairy, grains, drinks, snacks, and others. These, these are different categories. What do you have to do right now? You have to complete the groups. Complete the different groups with this vocabulary or more. More words that you want to include. T, for example, where are you going to put? Drink. And In drink. Drink. Exactly. Where are you going to write pineapple? Snack or uh, other fruits. Fruit. Snacks fruit. or fruit? fruit? Yeah. Where are you going to include the peppers? Vegetables. 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 Okay, so mm -hmm. that's what we have to do in this moment. Let's work on this activity. Mm -hmm. uh, group. What is this? What is this diary? Diary. Ah, dairy. Ah, the dairy. dairy. Dairy, for example, the cheese, cheese, milk, cream. Oh. That is dairy. Yeah, everything. Derivados. Derivados. No. Um, de, de, no uh, what is the name? The... Lactios. Ah, oh, okay, lactios. Yes, that, okay. that means dairy. Um, All right, so let's work. Let's. I'm gonna give you some minutes. Let's work individually right now. Let's work individually and complete. Complete. <laughs> you can do it here in the chat. You can do it in your notebooks. You just group, group the different vocabulary. Okay. Let's work individually right now. Oh. Let's do it, let's do it individually. Mm -hmm. Can you send the picture? Yeah, the picture in groups, please. Yes, please. Uh, I don't have my my WhatsApp open in my computer, so can somebody share this picture there, please? Sorry, sorry to bother you, but my WhatsApp is closed. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. I'm gonna try to open my WhatsApp. Teacher, sorry. Sería un nombre por casilla o varias uh, cosas? As many as possible. All the possibilities. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. probably in some cases you are going to have two or three. In okay. Some others one. Yeah. Thank you. Ah, <gasps> qué hice. Um,
teacher, I have the question. What is dairy? Yeah, dairy lactose. Okay, thank you. Another question? And the other question? <laughs> Eh, ay, ¿cómo digo esto en inglés? Yes. Teacher, el salmón que entra en las carnes. Sorry. El salmón, the, sal, the salmón oh, yeah. que entra en las carnes. Yeah. Uh, mm, no. Mm, Probably no. salmón is in seafood. Ah, ya. Yeah. <laughs> ah, ya. <yeah. laughs> seafood. Bárbaro. What teacher? Salmon is the river. Salmon. 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 Why? With, you know, the Rio. Why? Yes, it's the river. A river. Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay. And entra in the meat, creo. In meat? Mm hmm. To think. <laughs> That's a good question. Porque yo en meat lo puse. Ah. But, ok, en meat. Ah, no. But I see here sí. seafood, shrimp, and salmon. Ah, ok. Bueno. Well, well, because, because, <laughs> because it is. Yeah, good question. Let's see. Let, let me check. Let me check. Let me check in San Google. <laughs> salmon. Salmon. Salmon is seafood or Latin Salmon is considered a seafood. Mm. Classify as an oily fish with rich content of protein. Uh, is fish meat? Many people wonder whether fish is considered meat. Well, fish is a type of meat. And let's see. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I see in different articles that salmon is considered fish. It's classified as fish. Seafood. Es que yo creo que seafood significa mariscos, ¿verdad? Yes. Entonces, por eso no entra el pecado en seafood. Uh -huh. Mariscos, yes. El pecado sí. no es fresco. You can mm. say... Ajá, uh -huh, it's true, it's true. And I, uh, in the facts over here, seafood refers to all fresh fresh and salt water, fish, processions, and shellfish. Examples of common seafood include fish, bluefish, catfish, salmon, tuna, sardines. So, yeah. But it was a good question. <laughs> <laughs> really, really good question. What is salmon? <laughs> okay, 
So let, let's do it together. Meat. Look at the meat. Over there we have lamb and hamburger meat. Seafood. Oh, what else? Sorry. Edwin. Uh, meat is pork. No, necessarily. Meat is in general. Meat is in general. Pork is a specific. Mm -hmm. So yeah, pork is part of meat. Pork, lamb. The kind of. The different kinds. Have the different kinds of meat. Mm -hmm. Beef. The chicken. Seafood. Yeah. Shrimp. Salmon. And we have an example here in the book. El arroz entra en los granos, ¿verdad, teacher? The grains. Your microphone, teacher. Uy, sorry. <laughs> sorry, 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 my microphone. I've been talking alone for, I've been talking alone. Okay, so, um, Giovanni, what do you have in fruits? Um, mangoes, uh, melon, pineapple, pineapple. Apples and strawberries. Okay, very good. That's right. We can also include pears. Cherries, uh, blue cherries. cherries. Blue cherries, yes. Fish, beer. Yeah, grapes. A lot of fruits. Pocotes from El Salvador. Coco. Coconut. Coconut. Yeah, that's right. I, I love coconut. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, how about dairy? What can you include in dairy? Milk. Milk. Uh -huh. Cheese. 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 Cream. Cream. <laughs> Cream, yes. Oil, maybe. Oil. Yeah. Mm, no. no. Butter. Oil, butter. butter. Oil and butter. Oil and butter go in other. Other. Yes. Butter lo puse en dairy. The ice cream. The ice cream goes in dairy. Oh. Ice cream goes in dairy and also yogurt. The yogurt go, oh, goes yes. in dairy. Yeah, <laughs> ice cream is not a snack. Uh, cool. snack. Yeah, the ice cream can be a snack, of course. Yes, it can be a snack. Uh, grains, look at the grains. In grains, we have yeah. cereal. According to this vocabulary, cereal. What yeah. else? And rice. Rice, yes. Right. And Oat milk, corn, Oat milk, corn, 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 beans, beans. yes, beans. beans is part of grains. That's right. Rice, rice, yes, rice. 
Correct. Uh, How about drinks? Uh, drinks. Yeah. Water. Coffee, water. Juice. Coffee, water. Juice. Chocolate. Juice. 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 Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Tea. Yes. Hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Tea. Tea. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. All kinds of drink, right? Atolitos going to <laughs> mojitos. <laughs> oh, mojitos. <laughs> of course, hot water. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. Snacks. How about snacks? Popcorn. Popcorn, yes. Popcorn, pota potato okay. chips. Potato chips, yes. Uh, cookies and candies. Cookies, candies, yes. Somebody and here. Peanuts, I, I peanuts. Possible. The peanuts. Teacher, is it, is it queremos decir así como, no, o sea, no nos referimos a las potatoes free, fries, eh, pero nos referimos, nos queremos referir a otro tipo de snack. Only say snack. Snack is in general. Mm -hmm. Like like in the in the yeah, afternoon chips. for in the afternoon you want to say ah right now I'm in the mood for some <laughs> snack some kind of snack mm -hmm. in general right I want to eat something mm. potato chips is is part of the snacks but you can talk about another type of snack fruit mm -hmm. maybe for you Alma. For you, the snack can be um, fruit. Uh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fruit can be a snack for you. For some other people, a snack is coffee and bread, uh, sweet bread. Como decir nosotros el cafecito de la tarde con ahí. I know. Uh -huh. That is a snack. Or in the mornings, uh -huh. some people have breakfast, then they have uh -huh. a snack. And then they have lunch, something mm. in the middle of the different meals. That is a snack. Okay. No necessarily. Pero si son golosinas, pero también puedo incluir golosinas. Oh yeah, yeah. candies. 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 Mm. Yes. Yes, okay. yes. A lollipop. Anything the typical the Salvadoran food as well. What is the lollipop teacher? Los bombones. Yes. Me suena como la canción. I think the name right. I me encanta lollipop. A lollipop. Oh yeah, those are candies. Hey, how about others? What do we have in other? Oil. Oil, exactly. Oil. Butter. 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 Yeah, and over <laughs> here, look at this, it says sugar. Uh, sugar. Sugar is in others. <laughs> sugar, salt, pepper. Salt, ah, uh -huh. salt, pepper. Oh. Seasoning. All mm. kinds of things you need to see salt salt salsa sauce ah, sauce sauce. 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 sauce yes sauce yeah they can be part of others and salt 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 coke sauce coke sauce okay. sauce tomato Con... sauce tomato sauce Okay. Pero si es picante, hot, spicy. Hot. Or you can say spicy. Ah, spicy. Or hot. Spicy or, ah, or spicy. spicy. Yeah, sometimes you can find hot, hot sauce. Sí, en un programa que, que vi, es, vi que la chica decía, uh, decía la, creo que la, las, las medidas, no sé, los tipos de, de picante. Uh -huh. Decía spicy, no sé qué. Ay, yo decía que es eso. Spicy. Pero ya sé. <laughs> yeah. Now mm -hmm. you know. Spicy means that uh -huh. you drink some water. With, if you if you eat something spicy. Spicy is the adjective. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Uh -huh. So, thank you guys for your participation in this activity. We have a lot of words and obviously you can include more words to your list. You can make the different groups and include five more words, 10 more words if you want to, to increase vocabulary about food because this vocabulary never ends. It has a lot of words. When we talk about food, there is a lot, a lot. However, there is something else we have to study in the grammar section. What we have in the grammar now, let, let's move on to the next part. What we have is some, any, and would. That is the next part. Some, any, and would when we talk about food. Let's listen to this conversation. Listen, listen. Mm. Let me see, let me see. Okay, the sound. Page 120. Two, building language. A, listen. What do Ted and Phil have to do before dinner? I guess it's my turn to cook dinner. So... Can you listen to the conversation? Yes. You listen out. Yes, teacher. Okay. Cook dinner. So what would you like? Um, I'd like some chicken. Do we have any? Um, no. We need to get some. We don't have any vegetables either. Would you like to go out for pizza? Again? No. I think I'd like to stay home tonight. Okay. Then we have to go to the grocery store. Well, I went grocery shopping last week. I think it's your turn. Um, your turn. <laughs> Okay, now that we have this conversation, we have a simple activity. Circle the correct words and then practice with a partner. Let me send this screenshot to you guys, to the group, and let's practice. Practice the conversation with a partner. Okay, let's do it, let's do it. Practice this conversation. I'm gonna give you some time to practice, just a few minutes, right? Just a few minutes, let me see. Small groups, yeah. All right, go, go, go. Five minutes, practice the conversation. Complete exercise B, choose the correct option. I send you the screenshot to the group. Okay.
again. No, I think I'd like to stay home tonight. Okay, then we have to go. Mm, that's it. <laughs> okay. Now and complete the work. Mm. What would you like? Uh, stay home. Tony, Tony, tonight. tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have to go to the grocery store. Grocery store. Um, I I like some chicken. Do do we have any? Um, no, we need to get some. We don't have any vegetables. Vegetable. 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 I did I did like, like, I did like, like some chicken. chicken. And the number two? I like so chicken. Do you have any? Mm, no. Okay, let's listen to Oswaldo. Please, Oswaldo, you are Ted. And help me, please, Edwin, you are Phil. Okay, I start. I guess it's my turn to cook dinner. So what would you like? Um, I'd like some chicken. Do we have any? Um, no, we need to get some. We don't have any vegetables either. Would you like to go out for pizza? Again? No, I think I'd like to stay home tonight. Okay, then we have to go to the grocery store. Well, I went grocery shopping last week. I think it's your turn. Thank you very much. Edwin doesn't, Edwin doesn't want to go out this time. Okay, so let's see. In this conversation, they are talking about food again, but now we have more expressions. Would you, right? We are using this auxiliary, would. Would you like? What would you like? What would you like? That's what we have over here. Look at the answers. Mm, I'd, I'd like, I'd like some chicken. We also have here any. Do we have any? Do we have any chicken? That's what it means. Do we have any chicken? We need to get some. Another new word here. 
So here in the section B, we have to choose the correct option. What is number one? Like. 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 Mm -hmm. So the complete question is? What, what, word what you would you like? like? Eight. What would you like? What would you like? Yeah. You. Awesome. What would you like to eat? That's the correct option. Ah. What would you like to eat? To eat. Yes. I will explain to you that in a moment. Letter B. What's the correct option? I do I like, like some, some, chicken. some chicken. Very good. I'd like. In this case, no, I would like to. Mm -mm. I'd like some chicken. That's the, cor that's the correct one. Number two. I didn't like some fish. I, I like some fish. Exactly. I I I like I like some fish. I like some fish. Correct. And the letter B. We, we don't, don't have, have some. We don't have. It's negative. We don't have. I we don't have any. any. Yeah. Any. We don't have any. Okay, so here we have four different things. We have some, any, would like to, and would like. What's the difference? Let's take a look at this information right now. That's what we have in the book over here, in the grammar section. Let's take a look at this. Would like, some, and any. Page 121, three, grammar, would like, some, and any. Use would like plus to plus verb or would like plus noun. Would you like to go out? No, I'd like to stay home. What would you like for dinner? I'd like some chicken. Would you like some tea? Yes, please. No, thanks. Use some in affirmative statements and any in questions and negative statements. Do we have any vegetables? Yes, we have some vegetables. Yes, we have some. No, we don't have any vegetables. No, we don't have any. Do we have any chicken? Yes, we have some chicken. Yes, we have some. No, we don't have any chicken. No, we don't have any. Okay, first of all, let's take a look at the word would. Would. Look, there are two possibilities. You can say, um, would like to or we can say would like the difference is that if you use would like to then you need to mention an activity or a verb in this case we're going to use a verb and if you use just would like then you need a noun since we are talking about food let me show you some other examples <clears throat> Uh, here, I have more examples here. Would like to, look at the first example. Help me please to read this Abigail, the first part please. Help me, help me. Here. What do, what would you like to order? What would you like to eat? What would you like to drink? What can of mine dish would you like to have? What kind? Kind. The pronunciation? Uh, kind. Thank you, uh, Abigail. Thank you, thank you. Okay. In these examples, we have would you like and then an activity. Would you like to order? What would you like to eat? What would you like to drink? I have an activity here. Hey, what would you like to do? In the other examples, 
Mercy, can you help me please with the other example? Mercy, you here? Mm -hmm. I wait this there. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, what do you like so uh, dessert? This right. What okay. do you like uh, so soda? Uh, what do you like a drink? Yes, the pronunciation, Mercy, wood. Good. Yeah. Good. Would you? Would you like? Exactly. Ooh. Would you like? That's right. Okay. <laughs> okay, so thank you. In the first examples, we have would you like in an activity. So if you mention an activity, we need to use to. Would you like to order? Would you like to eat? But if I mention food, a drink, or if you mention a noun, then you don't need to use to. You don't use to. Okay. Would you like some dessert? Look at this. I don't have two. Would you like some soda? I don't have two. Two is used only when you mention a verb. To order, to eat, to do, to drink, to play, to see. What would you like to watch? What would you like to do on the weekend? Pronunciation. The pronunciation of this word is would would okay would you like no would no would but would would repeat that word would 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 yeah would 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 oh the and the pronunciation of this word is kind kind remember that kind Okay, so do you do you see the difference when you use to and when you don't use to? Is that clear? Or questions about this? Do you have any questions? The use of verb to is only for activities. When you mention an activity, yes, when you mention a verb after like to. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. Some is more specific for using an uh, object. Some. Some. Some is similar to a lot of. It's similar. You can use it with, with countable or uncountable nouns, with objects, with food. But you are going to use some in affirmative sentences. Only in affirmative sentences we use some. Es que son en esta parte lo ocupamos como al alguna o o okay. Some in this part is like Ay, eh, un poco, un poco algo, ajá, uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. like that. But ah. and and sometimes sometimes some doesn't have a specific meaning in Spanish. That it doesn't have a meaning in Spanish. Like here, look at these examples. You made the question, Alma. Made the question. And help me with the answers, Leonor, please. What? Yeah. Hmm? What would you like to eat, Leonor? I would like to eat the chicken soup. What would you like to drink? I'd like to drink orange juice. Uh, what <laughs> would you like some desserts? Desserts? Yes, please. I like some ice cream. Would you like some soda? No, thanks. I prefer water. Okay. Thank you very much. Here we have examples with some. Here in the question, would you like some dessert? Would you like some soda? When you make an offer, make an offer like this. When you offer something, oh, when you, in this case, you are going to use some. 
in the question. And it doesn't mean anything, actually. It doesn't mean anything. If you want to make the translation to Spanish, ¿te gustaría, o te gustaría algún, how do you say dessert? Postre? <laughs> if you like some dessert? Algún postre? Like that? Oh, yeah, me gustaría ice cream. In the question, algún postre. But mm -hmm. in the answer, I like some ice cream. Some, you don't say in Spanish, ah, me gustaría algún helado. <laughs> right? So sometimes in Spanish, some doesn't have a translation. I think it doesn't have a translation. But in English, you need to mention some. You mention some. Okay. Right? Yeah. But normally, uh, what you mentioned is true. Some means alguno, algunas. That is the, the meaning for some. That's mm -hmm. the meaning, yes. Okay, so here we have more examples. Look, more examples you think, would you like? Would, in this case, is the question, right? What would you like to eat? What would you like to eat? Well, An activity, to eat. But in the second, in the other examples, it says, would you like some dessert? In this case, I don't have a, I don't have an option, so I don't use to. Would you like some dessert? Would you like some soda? Look at this. Would you like some soda? I don't use to. But if I want to mention drink, would you like to, what would you like to drink? In this case, I use to. Uh, okay, so wait, 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 wait. So that's what we have here in the book, right? In conversation, can you help me to read this information? In conversation, let me see. Byron, can you help me with this part? Yes. In conversation. In conversation, any is common in questions. Do you have any cookies? Some is common in questions, but that are offers or requests. Request? Request, would, yeah. Would you like some chicken? Can I have some chocolate? Thank you very much. According to the explanation, we are going to use some in affirmative sentences or statements and we are going to use any in questions and negative statements. But we have an exception with, with this rule in questions. Any is in questions, right? Hey, do you have any cookies? I'm asking you if you have cookies right now. Um, do you have any chicken in the fridge? Do you have any eggs in the fridge? I am going to use any in questions but i can use some in questions when i'm um when i am making an offer or when i am making a request okay in a restaurant for example when you go to a restaurant the waiter would you like some would you like some so in that case, would you like some chicken? Would you like some salad? Would you like some drinks? In that case, you can use some. When you make an offer or when you make a request. Like this example. Okay. Can you see? Can you tell me if you have questions? Or not? Do you have any question about this? It's clear. You have a doubt, you don't understand something, or tell me. It's clear the topic. Oh, it's clear, teacher. A little bit. A little, just a little. Okay. Look at the examples here. Do we have any vegetables? Yes, we have some vegetables because it's affirmative. 
No, we don't have any vegetables because it's negative. We don't. Look, we don't have any. It's negative. Or look at the other. Do we have any chicken? Yes, we have some chicken. Affirmative. No, we don't have any chicken. Negative. We don't. Mm. We're talking about food. Okay? We're talking about food. That is the context right now. Food. 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 So just, just focus on that in this moment, right? Focus on food vocabulary, how to use any, how to use some when we talk about food. Let's practice, okay? Don't worry. I, I know we need some practice with some and any. So let's practice on this exercise. Complete the conversation. Complete the conversation. Use some, any, would, like, or would like. Sometimes there are two correct answers. Okay, let's do it like this. Let's work on this right now individually. Okay, work individually, take your time, complete the exercise. Well, not a lot of time, but take your time to complete it. Let's do it individually. Let me send you the screenshot right now of this exercise. And complete it. Do this activity. Okay, work. Work individually right now. And when you finish, let me know here in the chat. You tell me here, teacher, I finished, done, or anything, okay? You tell me here. So let's do it, let's do it, okay? Work individually right now. I send you the screenshot to the group. The quiz for unit six is in the Schoology already, okay? So when we finish the class, maybe you can take the quiz. It's there. I will explain the exam before we finish the class. What is the unit, teacher? 12, unit 12. Okay. Did I say unit six? <laughs> unit 12. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. <laughs> 
Besides, I just want to remind you to complete the activities in Schoology and in Cambridge, the two platforms, okay? Because I need those activities done by today. Please, 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 please. Some of you have completed everything and excellent. You already passed the level. You already passed to level three if you completed all the activities. But if you are still missing activities in Cambridge, activities in Schoology, you have not passed yet. You have not passed yet. So it's important to complete activities in both platforms. Both platforms are important. Cambridge has two points of the final score. We have the, we have Cambridge, we have a, a Schoology. Remember that in a Schoology you have forums and quizzes. Forums and quizzes. And in Cambridge we have the workbook, the practice for these classes. Try. I to... have a question. Yeah. I start in the unit seven. Uh -huh. Classes and I have to complete since the unit one. No. 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 Mm -hmm. At least no for the for evaluations. No, not mm -hmm. for this evaluation. Mm -hmm. But you can work on the platform. It's your workbook. You can practice okay. since since unit one. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So yeah, it that that is true, guys. If you want to practice again the activities in Cambridge, you can do it. The platform. I mean, the workbook online is yours. It is not only for the class. We finish module two, we finish intro B, but you can work again the next month because the license is for one year. So you can have, you have access to the workbook. In the next module, you are going to have access to workbook number two, the book number two. So you are going to have two workbooks online. Teacher, yeah. Teacher, uh, you you send the the new code code for code? schoology. Schoology. For uh, schoology, because in the in the homework, there was an image that said that it was created as a new module or or ingressed into a new. Ah, in the document. Mm -hmm. In the Word document? No, that is for next level. That is for the next level, yes. You are going I to see. be in another group, the next level, so you need another code. And another class, and another group, and everything. Okay, let's complete the exercise, and we finish with this exercise. I'm sleepy. I like to go for a walk. Would you like to come? Sure, let's go out for, what is the answer? For some coffee. Some coffee. Some coffee. Ah, okay, let's go out for some coffee. Very good. What else? I. I, I like. Yeah, I, I need. I would. I'd I like. I like. I like to I get, like, some cake. Like. get some cake. To oh, cake. my God. That's correct. Very good. <laughs> yeah, good example. Some coffee. I'd like to get some cake too. Perfect. The next one. I'm really thirsty. Do you have any water with you? Exactly. Very good job. Any water with you? Well, ¿Qué lo mandaron? I have some soda. I have some soda. <laughs> what, you, what happened? What happened? <laughs> no, que todo me equivoqué. No <laughs> <laughs> um. worry. That's why we are checking this here. You can correct it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I have some soda. Would you like any? 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 
Would you like any? It's an offer, remember, it's an offer. How would you like so, some? Would you like some? Would you like some? Yes. <laughs> it's okay if you don't have the correct answers. Right now, look, look at the correct answers now. Uh, okay, the next one, it's a question. Would you? Well, very good. Would, would you, you like, like a snack? Would you snack? Would you Excellent. Have... Would you like would a snack? You like a snack? Yeah. I have. I have um, some cookies and peanuts. Excellent. Yeah, mm -hmm. correct. Would you like a snack? I have some cookies and peanuts. Oh, wait, I don't have. Any, 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 exactly because it's negative. <laughs> uh huh. Mm, what's next? Mm, I, I like, I like, like some food. I like, like some fruit. Exactly. I like some fruit. Do you have some? Do you have? Do you have some? Um, do you have some? Or do you have any? Do you have any? Do you have any? Is any. Any. Yeah, because it's not an offer okay. in this case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Next. What, what, would, would, like, would, like, would, what like, would you like, would you like to do after class? Excellent. What would you like to do after class? Do you have any plan? Very yeah. good. Okay. Do you have any plans? Yeah. Any plans? Would you like to do? What would you like to do? Yeah. Exactly. Well, I need to go, I need to go shopping. shopping and get some food. Some food. Some food. Very good. The last one. Oh, I can come with you. Get some. Get some. Get some. Some milk. 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 So I don't have. I don't have any. Correct. Any. Correct. Correct. Yes. If you want to take a picture, take a screenshot, and then you can see more. You can try to practice again. Some milk. Any. I like some fruit. Any. Yes. Good. 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 Here we have an example. In the group. So help me please, Jonathan. Jonathan, you are A in the conversations. And Katia, are you here? Yes. Oh yeah, Katia, Katia. Katia. Okay. Is... Okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Jonathan A, Katia is B. Uh it's here. and today, so I, I have I have a question. Oh yeah, yeah. So, um some and any significa um, algo o alguno. Yes, in Spanish, yes. The difference Some. is, the difference mm -hmm. is in some is for affirmative sentences and any is for negative sentences and questions. That's the difference. No, yo lo decía porque, perdón en el de español, pero porque hay muchas palabras que significan lo mismo de algunos o, o algunos o algo de, de, de inglés. You're right. Como por ejemplo de las frutas que es a few, uh, a little, Correct. un poquito, alguno. Uh -huh. Entonces eso me confunde un poco, pero ay, no. I'm sorry <laughs> for, for, for speaking Spanish. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. It's just for a moment. So, yeah, it's true. It's it's confusing. I understand that. It's confusing. Um, however, let's try to, let's try to make groups. Oh, okay, I use some and any for, um, normally we are going to use some and any when we use would or when we talk, when we make the question, right? When we make questions, then some, a little, a few, a lot of, many, much, those words are quantifiers and we use those words um, when we talk about quantities, some, any, much, many, a little, a few, for quantities. 
So if, if you try to focus on the uses, it will help you a lot. It will help you. The uses. What is the use of that word? Okay. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Let's uh, I start. I start with Woody. Yeah, you start. Oh. Uh, okay. I am sleepy. I like to go for a walk. Would you like to, to come? Sure. Let's go. Let's go out for some coffee. I didn't like to get some cake too. I'm really thirsty. Do you have any water with you? Well, uh, well, I have some soda. Would you like some? Would, would, would you like a snack? I have some cookies and cream with peanuts. 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 Oh, wait, I don't have uh, any peanuts. Mm, I didn't like some fruit. Do you have any? Mm, what, what do you like to uh, do after class? Do you well, have any plans? Well, I need to go shopping and get some food. Oh, I can come with you. I need to get some milk, so I, I don't have any. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so some and any, right? Some is for affirmative sentences. Any is for negative sentences. Basically, when you say, ah, I don't have any peanuts, uh, peanuts, I don't have any peanuts, you are saying, I have nothing, okay, nothing. When you say I don't have any peanuts, peanuts, nothing. That's what you mean, but we are using the negative auxiliary don't. And since you are using the auxiliary don't, then we use any. Because we have this auxiliary, we use any. That would be the reason. Or because then you can say, oh, I have nothing. Nothing is an affirmative sentence, but the meaning is negative. This is something you are going to study later on. Again, the, it, this is not the only time when you will, uh, when you study some and any. You are going to study some and any in the future too. So don't worry. Right now it's, it's like an introduction, right? For some and any. So you are going to have homework today, but homework to practice these activities. I'm going to share with you some, some exercises and also the reading of this unit because we didn't finish the unit. You can work on the, on the reading. Um, let me explain the exam. Well, before the exam, let's, let me take the screenshots and the attendance. Please, everybody, smile. Let me take the, the screenshots. All those chulos, please. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, number one. The next one, another screenshot. <laughs> one, two, three. Okay, perfect. Todo directo quedamos de... Great, great. Now, please say present when I say your name. Just give me a moment. <laughs> screenshot, screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone smiling. <laughs> I remember when I was studying some and any, I was really confused too. Some and any are confusing, but with the time you learn. All right, Alma Francisca Escobar. Present teacher. Ada Elizabeth Perez. Present teacher. Araceli Ordoñez. Present teacher. Byron Martinez. 
Present teacher. Sergio Noah Lopez. Present. Dennis Leiva. Present teacher. Edwin Najo. Present teacher. Giovanni Méndez. Present. Giselle Menjibar, she was present here. Guadalupe Colocho. Present teacher. Ed, eh, Irwin Oswaldo Franco. Present teacher. Jonathan Alexander <laughs> Román. Present teacher. Carla Mariana Rivas. Carla Yamilet Mejía. Present teacher. Katia Hernández. Present teacher. María Beatriz Sánchez. Present. María Mercedes Ramos. Present teacher. Marian Nicole. Present teacher. Mauricio Danilson Vialta. Present. Oscar Oswaldo Martínez. Present. Rebeca Esther Sixco. Present. Rina Esmeralda Orantes. Presente. And Leonor. Leonor. Present. Omar. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you very much. Mm. Okay, if you are going to take the quiz right now, you can go to Schoology. Okay, let's go to Schoology. Let me help you with the instructions real quick. 